people left out of the stimulus program and when will Ohio and Kentucky businesses reopen? Those were the top questions consumer reporter John Matteris got from viewers during an Ask Me Anything on Facebook today. As the Tri-State works to rebound, what'd you find, John? Thousands of Tri-Staters are now receiving unemployment, but many others have been denied or have yet to hear anything. So we wanted to hear from viewers as we continue to cover the rebound. It was another Ask Me Anything on Facebook and almost 100 WCPO9 viewers asked away. This week, I was joined by fellow WCPO reporter Courtney Francisco, who is covering problems with Ohio and Kentucky's unemployment systems. Jackie Vogel asked, I'm collecting unemployment, but will return to work May 26th. Do we need to go online and cancel? No, you don't, Jackie. Just skip your weekly check-in and benefits should stop. Alyssa Cody says, I was denied unemployment because it said I didn't have enough qualifying weeks, which is wrong. Yes, Alyssa, it is unfair. But in Ohio, you need to have averaged $269 a week in income to qualify. And Judy Craddock is a caregiver working fewer hours. Am I able to file for unemployment? Good news, Judy. Under the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Plan, or PUA, you can get benefits if your hours were cut. We have much more information on navigating the unemployment maze posted on WCPO.com as we continue to work toward the rebound. John Matteries to be CPO 9 News.